quality of the football, plenty of chance for both teams in the end. No, I think um, a ding dong of a game, and like I say, if there's ever a, an exciting nil nil, I thought it was. Both teams tried to win it. Um, I'm not going to cry it in. We had good chances there, but they had a couple of really big chances uh, during the second half. We had a couple of chances early in the first half. So you, you could argue either way. So I'm not. I'm not really. Uh, in the end, a point and a clean sheet. Um, we've got a stretch team at the minute, injury-wise, and I'm asking a lot of the players, and they're asking a lot of each other. So coming down here, they've got a good home record, and I think we take the point and the clean sheet, as I said. Sean, that's a touch-up side, as you referenced there, but I mean, that was a brave performance, a valuable point, and they must be able to by what they were able to do in the circumstances. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I expect a lot of these players, and I, I don't like crying things in, but it's just a fact we, we're missing some, not only depth of squad, but some very important players who have proved to be important. Um, on the other hand, we're asking players to come in who are not proper. I thought Youngie was excellent. You know, he's only had 75 minutes in six weeks or whatever, so I had to be careful and get him off. The risk and reward of playing these players, Arnie's come in and tried to be effective and we're having to be careful with him. We don't know the extent of his injury. You know, <laughs> Dwight's having to play in central midfield. Ben's come in, hasn't played, but has, has kept himself right. And I thought that was on show. He's kept himself right all season. been working ever so hard. So, you know, we're asking a lot of the group. On the other hand, they're giving a lot, I think. You know, and, and I thought we found our feet a little bit more in possession as well. I thought we lost track on Saturday, but we, we got back to playing and, and being effective within that. So, a stretch period and, and a lot of questions, uh, you know, over the realities of the bigger picture. But when you look at a side like that, motivated to try and win a game down at a place that have got a good home record. So, pleased with that side of things, without doubt. Several clubs are supposed to be interesting days off. Is that the I, I, for some reason, I keep having to answer questions about players who we know nothing of. So it's the standard thing, you know. There has to be some news out of it. We were linked with someone today for 20 million. I thought, I don't know what they've been watching. I don't know why they've been covering us. But I was like, I don't know who's got 20 million to buy them. But apparently, we were linked with someone. That performance like the just shows how vital he is to this squad. No, I think it shows every player is trying to maximise what they do. And I think that was on show tonight. Because like I said, they've, 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 their record has been strong. Um, so to come down and get a clean sheet and look like we could at least try and nick it and the mentality to win it um, was pleasing. Sean, I thought Jordan Pickford was, was magnificent tonight. Was that, is that why he's England's number one? What do you make of well, I thought he gave a good performance, but he is England's number one. So therefore, you're, you know, we have a high expectation level of him. Um, his decision making was good tonight. I thought there was a team working very hard in front of him. That collective mentality, you know, to win games. And if you can't win, you get a point. He's played his part in that without a shadow of a doubt. You summed up there a quite decent performance on the pitch. There's a lot going on off the pitch, including the, you know, the hearing tomorrow. Does it kind of sum up the situation that you've, you've played pretty well out there tonight, but you go into that hearing tomorrow in the bottom three? No, it, it's, no the, the, the reality is, ever since I walked into the building, there was a lot of work to be done. I said clearly after the last game of the season, there's still a lot of work to be done, and there continues to be. Um, you know, the, the, the kind of bringing the club to a level where we can sort of build forwards um, has been quite obviously um, the bigger picture of the plan. And while you're doing that, you've got to win games. You know, the managers don't um, get time to build if they're, if they're not winning games. So I never lose sight of that, regardless of all the noise and all the, all the challenges. Um, you've, got to, you've got to remain clear on the focus for the team. And I think we are doing, and there was a good sign of that. The rest of it has been going on ever since I got it and before I got it. So, you know, we're, we're piecing that together the best we can, whatever happens, and taking on the challenges it comes. It doesn't sound like you'll be particularly nervous while there's three-day hearings going on. And no, no, there's, I can't affect... I was asked earlier about Luton Town winning, what they want me to do, manage them as well. <laughs> so I don't manage Everton, trust me. So, uh, you know, like, there's only, you, know you, you can only affect the things or control the controllables. There's a lot of things I can't control. So staying with the things I can at least have my try and affect and control, then that's my, my goal and that's my intent. I mean, look, you've, you, we can't get a penalty, you know that, we haven't had a penalty. Um, but on the other hand, you know, the way the handball, I think we're all a bit lost with it. We're, we're a bit lost with the VAR thing, even though I'm a fan of it generally. And we're certainly a bit lost with the, the handball thing. So, could you get it? You might do. If it's against you, you you're not happy. If it's for you, you take one. And for a team that haven't had a penalty, then you take whatever you can. I thought Jack had a chance. You know, in the second half, he gets nicked in the box. You know, I, 
I think we're all a bit, certainly the managers with the handball thing are all a bit lost with it. So I'll try and call it fair. Have you got a chance of getting it? You should have. But did we get it? No. And we can't get a penalty. So it wasn't a major surprise for a team that haven't had a penalty. You know, you have to sometimes go, well, we can't get one. So. Yeah, I know, and that, but that is the complexity of it. Um, I think we've, you know, I was asked recently about the one-year thing, and you know, we haven't we haven't run as won as many games after winning four in the last little run. But on the other hand, in the biggest picture, the biggest scheme of things, it's quite obvious that we've made strides. You know, as a team, um, with with uh, sorry, adding on the adjustment of points, which has gone away. Um, but if you know what I mean, you, I, I can't keep harping on about it. And I made it clear after the last game, it is, it's, it's the reality at this moment in time. So I much prefer to manage realities, you know, and that's, that's been something that's served me well, you know, as a player and a, and a coach and a manager. So I much prefer to make sure the team are, are clear minded on this is the current reality. If it changes to the betterment of us, fantastic, but not relying on anything. You know, I don't think we've relied on anything since I got to the club. We haven't relied on anything ever than being motivated to, to get the players in a position and then to get in a position to do better. And I think if you're rightly so, as you said, if you had the 10 points, I think everyone would go, yeah, actually, that's a big step forward for wherever and where the last couple of seasons. But the fact remains, it is what it is. That's what you see. So, therefore, we've got to remember that and keep focused on the job in hand. I'm just seeing, um, like seeing all the players, a motivation, you know, there's a group motivated to play and you can only pick 11. You know, he's been unfortunate over his time here so far under me, uh, but he's been working very hard. And I, we, we assured him of that recently, funnily enough, and I assured him a few days ago, I said, you, you're in the mix, you, you're right there. Now maybe he understands, you know, by playing tonight. Was that him coming to you? To come no, 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 I make it clear to all the players. I say, look, training is important, performances are important. No one gets a gimme, you know, no one gets an easy ride for me. No one gets just, oh, well, you're in the team every week. That doesn't happen. We discuss it as a staff and we try and get a team that can win a game. What does he bring to the side when he's in? Wait, well, his defensive responsibility, which was clear tonight, uh, guarding the back post with a great clearance, the pace and strength that he shows, you know, many different things. But like I say, it's, you know, picking, picking a side that can win games is not always an easy task and it's not always about someone particularly not playing well sometimes it is of course you know you think sometimes a player needs to come out the side but I don't think Pato has been doing badly I just think that the right game today was to play Ben and I thought he, he delivered a good performance. Sean, Senegal went out the Afro Cup of Nations uh, yesterday uh, do you have any information? We're just waiting now on news of the travel situation to get back. I know it's just happened. I'm no doctor, that's for sure, but it's an ankle injury. No joking about it, I don't know yet. Arnie, you said, Arnie Dunju. Oh, 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 sorry, I thought you said Arnie, sorry. Um, Amadou, he had some fluid on his knee, we've had it checked, nothing serious, but it is, it needs calming down, so he's got a chance, sadly, we're going to have to wait and see, but he's he done well to finish the last one, sorry, by the way, he's done well to finish the last one, um, you know, looking back retrospectively, because um, it did have a bit of fluid in, but we've had it checked, we're happy with that, he's happy with that, but it's just letting it settle and giving it a chance, and he, he obviously couldn't make tonight. So we'll see if he's got a chance for something. I'll find out more in the next day or so.